Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I am going to show you how we can use environment variables in our Angular application. These environment variables are very useful when you are developing an application in an environment and deploying that application in a different environment. In a real time development of applications, this is a common where we are going to develop an application in a development environment and deploying that application in a production versions. In that kind of situation, these environment variables are very helpful to define the variables and using in our application. To handle that kind of a scenarios, Angular has provided an option where you can define the variables in two different files. So whenever you are developing an application in dev environment, by default Angular will use one file and when you are building an application and deploying into in production version, it will use another file. To use that one, you can see there is a folder called environments. When you expand that one, you will see two files. As you can see here, environment.ts file. This is a non-production file. So whatever the variables you define in this particular file, those will be used whenever you are running an or whenever you are compiling an application. And similarly, there is a prod version of the environment file, which will be used whenever you are going to build this application and deploying into any server. As you can see here, there is a variable which is defined here production true, which means this is a production file. And in the environment.ts file, you can see production is mentioned as false. So this is not a production file. So based on these variable, whenever Angular compiles or build, these files will be chosen. So we can make use of these environment files and define the variables here and we can use those variables in our applications. So let's see how we can use these uh, environment files and define the variables. So let's add one variable here. I will name this one as a global variable and I will add a test content within this global variable. So you can define the same variable in the environment dot prod.ts file. So here you can alter the text content here. So that's how you define the variables in environment and environment.prod.ts files. So whenever this application builds, this production version of the variable can be taken. And whenever we are just running in our local system, whenever we are compiling, this variable will be taken. To use this uh, variable in our application, you can go to the ts file where you want to use it here. Then import the environment file, environment, which is under environments folder, environment. Then fetch the variable and assign it to a variable here. I will assign to a global variable fetch is equals to environment dot global variable. The value is stored in global variable. So I have fetched that one now so that I can use this global variable whichever we have fetched into our HTML file. Here I will add a simple content where it will say data fetched from global variable and I will paste the variable whichever I have fetched. So I have saved this file. So if I go back to a browser, you can observe that the variable which we have defined in the environment that is being fetched into our HTML file. One of the real time usage is whenever we are developing an application, the web API will be in our local host. At that time, you can use a variable called host and you can define the path into this variable. When it comes to deployment or real usage, the URL for the web API will be different, something like this one. At that time, you can mention that host here in the production environment file. And you can use this host variable in the web API service which we are going to create. And we can bring that one into this file using the import function using the import and there we can define it to a variable then we can use that one in our get method like this you can make use of global variable in our angular application whenever it is required i hope you got an idea how we can use environment variable in our angular application thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel